so what's up you guys welcome back to another video today we have an unboxing specifically an acrylic kit from amazon now i went to searching on amazon for one of the cheapest acrylic kits i could find listen inflation is at an all-time high right now everything is expensive everything is high but um we still gotta do these nails so i wanted to find the cheapest kit i can find on amazon and do my nails with it and review it so you guys do not have to but before we talk more about that let's get into these notification shout outs so these are the first three people who commented on my last video thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and all you have to do to get a shout out is make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications and be one of the first three people to comment so i actually purchased two nail kits from amazon and they're both acrylic nail kits this one is $14, I think. And then this one is like 20 something dollars. But this video is all about the cheapest one, which is the $14 one. So we'll get back to this one in another video. So be on the lookout for this video. I think this one comes with a nail drill and a UV nail oil. We're gonna save that for another time. So starting off, of course, we have uh, the instructions. Oh, so this acrylic actually doubles as dip powder because the instruction shows you how to use it as dip powder so that's pretty cool but this kit is mainly an acrylic kit so um first off we have the acrylic liquid it's in a very small bottle it's only one fluid ounce hopefully it's not too too strong but then we have this all pink nail clipper false nail clipper then of course we have our acrylic powders we have some clear acrylic powder we have some pink acrylic powder and then we have white acrylic powder and then we have some nail tips they're on the shorter side but you get to decide whether you want the white tips or the clear tips we have some lovely glitter and it looks like some chunky glitter mixed with fine glitter we have an acrylic nail brush it's a number eight brush we'll see how well that does with acrylic application and then we have our cuticle pushers it's the wooden disposable cuticle pushers we have a little nail brush and y'all know nail brushes save lives around here i love a good scrubbing brush and then we have some cuticle oil it's the little pin cuticle oil and we have a nail file this nail file already looks a little disappointing i'm not even gonna lie it might be good but i'll test it out and everything as i'm doing the whole nail set next we have the actual nail glue and then it comes with a dabbing dish and then we also have some nail forms so i want to try to use everything that comes within this kit to accomplish a nail set make sure you stay till the end of the video to see my full review on this kit and um let's get started doing some nails so i'm gonna try to use only everything that comes within this kit so you guys can see the different ways you can use it to do your nails all that good stuff and if it's actually worth it for you so i'm gonna use these tips we're gonna try to stack them to make them longer because y'all know i love my long nails and this is the actual shape of the nail tip it looks like a coffin shape to me i don't know but at certain angles they look square <laughs> So I want to see how well this glue works because the glues are honestly a hit and miss sometimes in these cheaper kits. Let's just see. I do have a top coat on my nails just because I'm popping this set off right after. Let's see how long it takes for it to actually stick to my nail. I think I might have to buff out the actual nail to make it happen because it's not happening. Usually it does help a little bit, but um, if this glue doesn't stick on the second try, I'm just going to use my glue because I honestly don't have the patience right now. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't work out. It's sticking to my skin more than it's sticking to my actual nail. So I'm just going to use my Young Nails brush on glue and this glue works regardless of whether you have a top coat on your nails whether you buffed out the surface of the actual tip of the nail like it really doesn't matter all i gotta do is hold it for a few seconds and boom there we have it 
but typically with your cheaper kits coming from Amazon, the nail glue never adheres easily. So this isn't anything that surprises me, honestly. And I'm just gonna cut that down just a tad bit. I don't think I wanna stack them. I like that length. Let's just shape. I'm not a huge fan of the actual grit of this file. I'm still gonna work with this one. I'm gonna see how far I can actually get with this nail file. So far, honestly, it's not doing bad, but um, with files like this, it'll definitely take a little longer to get the shape that I want, that crisp shape that I'm looking for. And just to help out a little bit with the shaping, I'm gonna use my drill to go in with it. So I'm just gonna go in on both sides. See, that's looking better already on that side. And then I'm just gonna put my drill in reverse. And I'm going to drill the other side in. And then I'm gonna go underneath. And file a little bit underneath and then get my free edge. Okay, so I'll be completely lying to you guys if I told you that I use this nail file the whole entire time. So of course I use my nail drill to help me out a little bit. And I kind of went in with my 80 grit panna file to get more of a crisp shade. I'm gonna have to give this file a five out of 10 personally. So we have the glitters and, um, and I'm just gonna slap some on. So first, I'm just gonna start with a coat of clear gel. And the kit does not come with um, gel polish. So I'm using, this is Young Nails. And just one coat will do. And I'm gonna get out my little container here because we're just gonna dump some glitter on this. So this is just a regular cuticle pusher. And I already know this is gonna make a little mess. Hopefully it doesn't, oh yeah, it did. I'm just gonna kinda dump it on there. And I'm gonna leave it on the tip just like that. That's kinda cute. All right, and then I'm gonna cure that one. So I'm basically just trying to create an ombre effect with the glitter. So um, yeah, I'm putting down one coat of the top coat and then I sprinkle the glitter on top, then I cure afterwards. I just wanted to do a super simple set that any beginner can and, try. Um, hopefully this turns out really, really cute. <laughs> um, but this glitter is everything. I'm loving the glitter. This kit comes with 12 different color glitters. So there's a bit to choose from. I just wanted to focus on one color. But um, if you want to alternate colors, you definitely can. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use their clear acrylic to go ahead and cap everything off. And um, we have the acrylic liquid here. And so far, it's not really a strong monomer smell. So I'm really happy about that since I've been having issues with monomer giving me headaches. And I'm just gonna take the brush that they provided and I'm gonna try to apply the acrylic with this brush, even though I already know how this is gonna go. I just don't like brushes that come to a point like that. I like my brushes to flare out a bit. Let's try it out. I wanna do it in small beads. We're just gonna start at the bottom and work our little way up. It's actually not that bad. You 
kind of don't even have a choice but to just work with smaller beads with this. But I'm liking this monomer and this acrylic. It's really easy to work with. It doesn't dry up too quickly. And then I'm gonna just come up here and push up towards that cuticle. I'm gonna lay this part flat down. Do big pack. In my brush, I can see some bubbles in the acrylic, but as I pat the acrylic down, the bubbles kind of disappear, so. We have little spots over here that needs to be, little glitters is kind of poking up that needs to be encapsulated. But we're gonna get everything. I'm gonna take another little bead and just put it right here to kind of build the apex up a little bit. So with these next few nails, I really wanted to try to pick up a bigger bead because um, those smaller beads that I did with the thumb, it didn't really give me much coverage and I was going to be doing my nails all day if I really did small beads like that. So I picked up the biggest bead I could pick up with this small brush and it actually worked out. And I think the fact that this acrylic does not dry so quickly on you, like most cheap acrylics do, it made it even better. Like I'm really liking this kit so far. For the cuticle bead though, I'm gonna stick with the smaller bead so I'm not overflowing the cuticle. So you can see I have a smaller bead for my cuticle area here. You just wanna place the cuticle bead before the cuticle and then slightly push it up and then bring the rest down. And then once you're done with the application, you always wanna check your nail from the side profile to see if there's any dips, and then go back in and fill those dips in. And you can see that's what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna do one last nail on camera for you guys and then we can move on. But um, one thing I did notice um, as I was finishing up the set, the monomer in the dappen dish started to turn yellow. And um, I didn't see any yellowing in the nail, like in the acrylic, once I placed it on my nail. But it did turn yellow in the monomer. Um, I thought that was pretty weird. i never seen that before. But um, yeah, just wanted to say that I noticed that. Before I put the brush up to clean the brush, I'm gonna twirl it in the monomer a few times. And then I'm just gonna take one of my cuticle pushers and just make sure all of the acrylic is out of the brush. And you can actually let it just sit in the monomer just to make sure everything is out and then do that over again. And then your brush is all clean. And I'm just gonna be 100% honest, we're not even gonna use this to file. I'm not even gonna struggle. Like, I feel like this is gonna take way too long to get to the shape that I want. So I will just provide the link below for this um, 80 grit pan up file. Personally, I like filing with 80 grit files, well, really shaping with 80 grit files. But I'm just gonna file as normal. All that's left to do is just to clean up the cuticle area. I 
Now, they did not provide a buffer in the actual kit, so I'm just gonna use the buffer that I got from McCart to smooth everything out so we can move on. Okay, so I went and I washed my hands. They're all clean and I really gave them a good scrub with the brush that they provided, especially up there in those cuticles to really get all that nail dust out. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some rhinestones. I'm still gonna keep this set really, really simple. Okay, so I have this rhinestone kit I purchased from Amazon. So I like to apply rhinestones before I put the top coat on. Putting rhinestones like on that tacky surface really helps it stay on longer and not fall off so easily. So I'm just gonna put little dots. This is like rhinestone gel or rhinestone glue, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna like randomly put them where I want them on the nail. And the thing I like about this rhinestone kit is it comes with a wax pen. And I'm just gonna place the rhinestones where I put that rhinestone gel. And then now all that's left to do is put the top coat on and I'm just going in between each rhinestone. And since I've placed them so far apart, it's not that hard to do. So I'm just going in between with my brush. So after I cured, the only thing left to do is put on our cuticle oil and we are all done. Okay, so I feel like this is one of the best cheap nail kits that I've purchased off of Amazon in a while and I'll tell you why. So number one, the quality of acrylic. I love it for the price of this kit. The acrylic does not dry quickly on you. It gives you enough time to work with it and I love that about this kit. You do not find that in a lot of cheap kits on Amazon. And then number two, the monomer did not have a strong smell at all now i would sit up here and complain about you know the nail file how it wasn't up to my liking and then the acrylic nail brush but i mean for 14 dollars, i feel like we can deal with it <laughs> for practice reasons or if you just want to give yourself a nice nail set at home i would give this kit a strong eight out of ten but if you're interested in this kit i will leave the link for it in the description down below and that brings us to the end of this video if you watched this far thank you so much if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button for next week's video I will either be doing a Shein haul, a Shein nail haul, of course, or I will be unboxing the other kit that I showed you guys today. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that for next week, and I will see you guys in my next video.